What's going on, YouTube? Blaze Shadow Thorn here, jumping right into a showdown live with a a, real, a team I really enjoy. So uh, I'll go over the team sort of, but first we're gonna be jumping right into the uh, the game. Honestly, don't know what he wants to lead off with. He could either lead off with the uh, Heatran, the Rotom, or the uh, Magna uh, Mammoth Swine. So I feel like leading off my Kunk Keller because it has the best matchup overall with everything on his team. Um, and this is actually an extremely hyper offensive OU team as he decides to lead off with his own Kunk Keller. Uh, let's just run over the team real quickly. We have a Choice Banded, Iron Fist, uh, Kung Kelder with Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Knock Off, and Mock Punch. We have a Miss Sincor, our Mega Gardevoir. Uh, we have a Choice Banded, Landers Therian, Adamant. We have a Choice Scarfed, Raikou, um, the DM Bobcat. We have a, uh, an Offensive Life Orb, Starmie, and then we have a Life Orb, Bisharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double out into my Miss Sincor. Not really sure what this thing wants to do. I mean, he, uh... He's either going to go out and do his Latias, or he's going to Drain Punch me. But I'm not entirely sure which one he wants to do, and my glasses are incredibly fogged up. He instead opts to go for a knockoff, and that knockoff does a really good chunk of damage to me. Um, this gives him a perfect switch to go out into his Heatran, which I do not want. So I'm actually going to predict the Heatran switch and double right back out into my own Kunk Kelder. Oh, uh, I think I'm high enough on the ladder that he might make that play because uh, that's his only resist to my Mega Gardevoir, and this thing will run rampant through his entire team. As he goes out into the Rotom Wash, that is not a switch in, sir. That is not a switch in. I'm going to go straight away for a Drain Punch. I don't think he'll Will O Wisp just because most Kung Kelders are guts. Uh, I'm not guts, so of course he's going to Will O Wisp me because, you know, people are like that. And if you hear my Naughty nah, Volt switches, all right, that's fine. Uh, that does a lot of damage, so he. Immediately tells him that I'm not a salt vest like most of them. I'm actually a choice bonded. Choice bonded. So he's probably going to go out into the Latias, which I probably should have expected and went for like a knockoff. Really should have, but uh, there it is. There's the Latias. I went straight away for the Drain Punch, though, but goddamn, that did a lot of damage. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to double out into Missing Core, though. Uh, even, I mean, actually, you know what? I'm going to go out into Bisharp. As a uh, nope. Too late for the cancel button. Uh, I kind of predicted the Psy Shock actually, which is why I wanted to go out into the base shard, but that did do too much damage. But, um. Why does he want to drop on me now? Ah, uh, I see it's Life Orbed. Um. Uh. I'm gonna double out into Deal Shard now. I'm going to do it because I want to save Miss Sincor for Death Fodder later, but already I'm off to a pretty terrible start to this uh, Showdown Live. I haven't played Showdown in, like, forever, mainly because it's cancer. Mainly because it's cancer. Um, I'm going to knack off here just because I'm not entirely sure if he wants to stay in predicting me to uh, Pursuit Trap or not, and if he switches out, knock off will handle everything on his team except that uh, Altaria. But if he stays in... It's pretty good for me. Because I don't think he can touch me with anything. So he's going to go out into the Kunk Elder. I uh, reveal to him right here that I am not actually a uh, carry pursuit, or else I would have pursuit trapped him right there. Uh, I want to scout for the... Um, I'm going to double out in our Landers there and scouting to see if he has indeed carries the uh, the Mock Punch. I want to see if he carries that, which I don't. I don't see any reason for why he wouldn't carry a mock punch. There's the mock punch. Right here, I'm gonna U-turn, predicting him to double out into his Lati uh, Latias, predicting me, or his um, Altaria, per, or even his Rotom, predicting me to go for an EQ. And I want to get some. Uh, as he stays in, um, that means he has Ice Punch. That means he's going for Ice Punch, which means I feel relatively safe actually bringing in my Starmie on this thing. Uh, and I do apologize if you hear, like, chewing or something. I just had an olive because uh, some people don't like olives. Ah, it sort of, like, depends on the mood I'm in. As there's the ice punch. Don't get frozen, which is uh, amazing for me. And uh, I want to go for an ice beam, but at the same time, I feel like going for a hydro pump. But at the same time, I feel like going for a Psy Shock. I'm just going to go for the Psy Shock. Psy Shock. I'm not entirely sure what he wants to bring in, though. I would go for a Hydro Pump, but on the off chance, he brings in that um, Rotom Wash. There it is. As uh, I do a nice chunk of damage with that uh, Psy Shock. A uh, good chunk of damage. Really expecting him to switch out right here into his uh, Latias. And I really want to go for an Ice Beam, but at the same time, this is Rotom Wash is a huge threat. I'm going to do it, though. 
I'm going to do it. I'm going to make that play that he doesn't want to sack off his Rotom Wash this early on in the game. Because uh, Rotom Wash is, could definitely put in some work. As he stays in, why? Why? Why would you stay in? Do you, do you think the, Why would you Volt Switch, though? I outspeed. That makes no sense. That makes legitimately no sense. Why would you do that? I'm going to check my rank and see how low on the ladder I am. I mean, I'm in the mid-1300s. People should not be that bad. He should know his speed tears. So I just needlessly lost my Starmie, which, and I could have gotten rid of that Rotom Wash, but of course, um, what are you going to do? Um, All right, he has nothing to really stop me from uh, sweeping with um, with my Conkel there. If he brings in that um, Latias, it'll die to another Drain Punch. I don't think he'll bring in his Altaria. I really want to go for an Ice Punch, but at the same time, at this point in time, the way he's been playing, I really don't feel safe going for an Ice Punch, even though the Altaria switching kind of is fairly obvious. Just off of, based off of how he's been playing, I really don't feel safe doing that. I mean... Ice Punch will still be doing a decent amount of damage, but yeah, there he is. He stays in just to get up his rocks. And, um... Just gonna, uh... Actually, I'm just gonna uh, Drain Punch right here. Maybe he'll predict me to go for a Mach Punch and Ice Shard. Or maybe he'll switch out. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, it did break um, the Mammoth Swine Sash. It is at 1 HP. I don't actually carry rocks on this team. Um, it's a really hyper-offensive team, so... Ends up going out into the Altaria, and uh, that thing just gets absolutely destroyed, decimated by a Drain Punch. This thing gets decimated by a Drain Punch. I'm actually going to stay in here and uh, Drain Punch again. Kind of greedy, but the only thing he can really go for is a Moon uh, Hyper Voice. As he decides to Roost, lose his Flying type, and that thing just gets died. That, that, that just got bopped by a Choice Bandit Drain Punch. I'm happy, Conkelder. Conkelder is a massive threat in this meta. Like, you slap a Choice Band, Adamant on that thing, and there is no such thing as a like, it's like resisted hit? What is that? What even is that? Conkelder is just like, that's why I named him Pillar. He hits like an absolute truck. Absolute monster. Gonna bring back in the Mammoth Swine, I assume, to go for an Ice Shard, um, predicting me to go for a Mach Punch. But he instead goes for an Endeavor, I guess, seeing that I'm Choice Banded. But um, that's interesting, though. I did not expect Endeavor, to be completely honest. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Unfortunately, I do lose my Pillar, but um, it did its job, I think. Definitely, definitely did its work, uh, knocking out two huge threats. Uh, he's gonna bring in his Conkelder. Most likely to just Mac punch me right here. I mean, I could switch out into my Lander's Therian and preserve uh, Pillar as Death Fodder for later, but I really don't think he'll... Yeah, there's a the Mach Punch. Um, there was really no sense in doing that. Um, let's see here. I got rid of its Assault Vest. So, I'm thinking... Oh, and he got up Rock, so my Nisincor's dead pretty much, I think. I go out to Landorus and then U turn, but U turn won't kill. Um, I think I'm gonna go out into the DM Bobcat. I think this is my best play. This is my best play, and then I'm gonna Volt Switch off. If he wants to switch out, that's fine by me. If he doesn't, I'm going to assume that he's gonna go for a Drain Punch. I can double out in my Landorus Therian just to get the Intimidate drop off. If he does surprise me, goes for the Ice Punch. I mean, I can just bring back in the DM Bobcat and Revenge Kill it. He instead just goes straight away for a Mach Punch. End up getting a crit there. Crit probably mattered in the sense that I killed it. Um, I'm gonna go out into Landorus. Landorus Therian. So then, I mean, I probably should have went, actually, you know, I probably should have went out into Dio Sharp. But if I went out into Dio Sharp, that would have just given him a free switch out into his Heatran. And since I brought in the Landorus, I kind of forced the, his hand to bring out the Latios to deal with me. And uh, that's good. And honestly, looking at his team, Landorus is... N Landorus, I need Landorus for the, um, for the Heatran, actually. I do actually need this for the Heatran. He ends up bringing out the Rotom Wash. Is that thing max speed? I don't think that's max speed, Rotom Wash. 
I honestly don't think that's Max Speed Road and Wash. Although it might be because he stayed in on a Starmie, actually. That'd be really weird, though. That'd be really weird. Max Speed Road and Wash. Max Speed Road and Wash. What is this garbage? What are you, what, what are you playing at, son? What are you playing at? It can't be. I don't think it's Max Speed Road and Wash. Even then, he'd have to hit his Hydro Pump as well, so... um. But he brought it in for a reason. I guess to will o -wisp me, maybe? Because that's a little bit of higher accuracy. I don't know, but I've spent 10 minutes on one battle. Uh, but it wasn't max speed. Able to knock it out with that U-turn. Uh, and gonna just bring in the nice and powerful Raikou right here. Just so I can Volt Switch off anything. If he wants to bring in that Heatran, I can break the possible Air Balloon. And uh, Lando T kind of cleans up the game for me right about here. That and uh, Raikou. Definitely, because I'm able to hidden power ice the uh, the Latias, or volts at least volt switch off the death fodder. My um, so I think this is what either way I volt switch off and I win the. G I think I'm in a good position right here. So uh, definitely, definitely a difficult battle. Well, not really difficult, but it's just a little interesting. As he decides to bring out the um, Heatran right about here. That's interesting though. It is not air balloon. Uh, this this I'm gonna volt switch I'm a volt switch I don't like this though I really don't like this cause I'm gonna fodder I mean I have the exact number of Pokemon I need to win this game I have them right here the only problem is um, he's gonna be forced to predict me to EQ isn't he He's going to be forced to predict me the EQ. So what I can do is I can sack off my Syncor. Alright, so this is my game plan. I'm going to Death Flutter my Mega Syncor, go out into my Lander's Therian, go for the U-turn, predicting him to bring out his uh, Latios, predicting me to go for an Earthquake, and then win the game. I actually lived the South Rock switch in, but uh, it didn't matter regardless. So here, here it goes. Here it goes. Here we go. 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 Actually, you know what? I should knock off. Because knockoff will do a good chunk of damage regardless on if, if he wants to switch out or not. Yeah, knockoff is definitely the better play in this situation. Because if he stays in, it'll still do a decent amount of damage. If he switches out, it'll knock out the uh, the Latias. So, uh, and if I, he stays in, U-turn will be four times resisted and this will be a neutral hit. And it'll get the, the 1.5 boost for knocking off uh, the, uh, the Assault Vest, maybe? Or uh, Choice Scarf? Perhaps? Yeah, it's Choice Scarfed, actually. And uh, knock off that Scarf, and um, I outspeed this thing. So that's GG, my good sir. Because unless the Latias... I, I mean, Latias could carry Defog, but other than that, I don't think he carries Recover. I mean, do Life Orb Latias carry Recover? I don't know. I haven't used... I, haven't, I mean, I've seen Latias in a while, but I don't know. I honestly don't know what Latias is carrying. But uh, I won the game regardless. So i uh, just going to bring in my Bisharp here and uh, just suck the punch right out of it. And if for some reason that doesn't kill, I have a Choice Scarfed Raikou in my back pocket with Hidden Power Ice. So, um, Landers T, thank you very much for your service. You are no longer required in this match to win this game. So, uh, you know, that's, that's nice. As he decides to uh, to psy shock me right there, that's okay by me. Gonna go right into the um, the Dio sharp, the nice powerful bit sharp. So I am able to uh, to pick off the nice clean uh, nice clean clean victory in my favor. Gonna go for that sucker punch. That'll be able to knock out the Latias at the range of HP that it's at, unless he surprises me, pulls out like a recover right here, which he doesn't. It's able to pick off the KO, easy peasy, leaving me with a nice and powerful 2-0 victory. I'm gonna actually have enough time for uh, one more battle, I think, because uh, we're approaching the 15-minute mark. These things are normally like two, uh, 30 minutes in length. So uh, this is not an OU team, sir. This is not an OU team. This is like a UU team. This No, this is a UU. I'm not. Scizor is an OU Pokemon, but still, this is not, a, this is not an OU team. Uh, what are you doing, fam? What are you doing? Uh, he does have this, um, this, uh, this Galvantula for some sticky web action, which, uh, I don't like. I don't like that, but, uh, I'm gonna go out into the Dio Sharp. I'm gonna lead off 
with the Dio Sharp anyways, predicting the Galvantula lead. Because the Galvantula lead is pretty obvious. Um, and uh, there it is. The nice Galvantula lead. I'm gonna go for that knockoff right about now, though, because uh, uh, he's probably not going to attack me. He's probably gonna set up the Stakey Web. There's absolutely nothing I can do to stop that. Fortunately for me, though, uh, I only have one Scarf around the team, and uh, my team's not exactly the fastest thing. So unfortunately, that uh, Neuvern will be able to outspeed everything on my team. But Neuvern is especially frail, so um, I'll have to worry about that. Like, everything on this team is, like, competitively viable, I suppose, in UU, in, in OU. But, uh, I mean, I use uh, Neuvern in uh, OU sometimes. I also use Scizor in OU. I've, I've seen some Darmanitans running around in OU. Don't like Darmanitan, though. Never have. I mean, unless it's... Uh, uh, yeah, there, I, I do pick off the uh, the Galvantula KO right there. But I don't like saying... I don't really like Darmanitan, you know? I mean, I have one in my roster for the GBA, which uh, this video should be going up after my first uh, GBA battle. So, I mean... Everybody knows about that. I have one there, and it's going to be a nice Pokemon to have. I just really don't like it. You know what I'm saying? You know? I mean, I like the uh, the Zen Mode Darmanitan, you know? You feel me, man? Zen Mode Darmanitan, it's pretty chill. It's pretty chill, and people don't expect that. And uh, you can catch a lot of people off guard with that. So he's going to bring out the Scizor here. Scizor is one of the two things that could Mega Evolve. Only re real reason I see for him to bring that out is to go for the, um, the Super Power. So I'm going to, regardless, switch out. Gonna go out into the Landorus Therian. Because I feel Landorus Therian is the best thing to handle this thing. If he wants a Sword Sands, he'll only be at plus one. He goes for the Rock Smash. Ladies and gentlemen, Rock Smash Scizor. Let that, thi Let that sink in. Rock Smash Scizor. What is life? What is love, fam? Just gonna hit fire off an EQ at this point in time. He could switch out into the Neuvern, yes. But at the same time, I want damage off on the Scizor. And, um, doesn't able to go for the, uh, EQ, do mad damage. And uh, at this point in time, he, if he bullet punches, I'll be able to live that. And uh, I, not, I get a clean kill off on the Scizor. If he switches out into, um, his Neuvern, there really is no harm, no foul in that either, because I do have counters for that. Uh, mainly my Gar Mega Gardevoir, so I'm not too worried if he switches out into the Neuvern right here. But he doesn't, he goes for the Bullet Punch that is actually able to knock me out. I forgot about my defense drop, God damn it. Um, fuck me. Um, shit. Uh, Scizor. A little bit of a problem. Just a little bit. Gonna bring in the Conk, the Conk of the Kelder, and uh, gonna go for a Drain Punch right here. Uh, just because he could go for a Bolt Punch. Don't think he will, though. I mean, like, I guess Bolt Punch is his strongest move, but only at plus one. Uh, I'll be fine. As he decides to switch out, goes out into the uh, Darmanitan. What are you doing, fam? What are you doing? I guess he predicted me to go for a mock punch, I suppose, and he wants to preserve the scissor, but still, that play made legitimately no sense. I mean, unless he predicted me to s predict his Neuvern and go for the ice punch, but still, that was not a switch. That was not a switch. So he decides to go into the Malamar right about now. Gonna still go for that drain punch. I mean, he could go for a psycho cut, but I'm really not fearing anything. And, uh... I still feel like I could do a good chunk of damage. You decides to go for a superpower, that's fine. Even with the plus one, uh, that should be doing a decent amount of damage. And it does. It does, does a decent amount of damage. I mean, not a good amount, but decent, I suppose. Um, go on to Miss Syncora, actually. Could go out of Miss Syncor just because Miss Syncor four times resists his superpower. It doesn't matter if he gets an attack raise and a defense raise because I still should be able to live any one hit. I mean, unless he has, like, knockoff. I mean, even if he has knockoff, I still should be able to find That did a good chunk of damage for being four times resisted. Gardevoir, I gotta ask you, what are you doing, fam? What are you doing? You're supposed to, you're supposed to be tanking the hits. So if he has a uh, Night Slash, I'm dead. If he has knockoff, I should be able to live. Uh, that's that's the deal. I mean, I'm not I'm not even sure if I can live a knockoff at plus two stab. Uh, 
Apparently, I can't live anything because uh, Gardevoir is frail as fuck. But he does have Night Slash. And I do die. Fuck me. And he has that, um, I don't know if he wants to risk losing his uh, boost to boosts or not, but uh, I just feel like firing off a Thunderbolt right about now. Because uh, I really need to kill off this Malamar, because this Malamar is becoming a royal pain in my ass. If he decides to switch out, and he goes out into his Swampert, good for him. Not going to hold it against him, not going to say it's not a predictable play going for a Thunderbolt right about now. But he doesn't, he stays in, able to live the Night Slash, which is uh, great, and uh, a vast me message pops up, but it's off screen, so it's all good. Doesn't have any form of priority. I'm uh, probably going to pick off the KO right here. Uh, he might want to save it for Death Fodder like he did with his um, Scizor, but so long as I have um, a Dio Sharp to a good amount of HP. And actually, so long as I have a Conkeldur around. I mean, I have priority Mach Punch, so... And that'd be neutral, so Mach Punch should be able to knock out both of those. He decides to switch. He goes out into the Noivern. Why? Why? Why would you go out into the Noivern? Why? Why? Can someone please... Just I want to look up this guy's ranking real quickly. Let's see here. Rank the Dark Gym Leader. Because this guy is legitimately garbage. He has... How did you win 646 games? That's what I'm wondering. And uh, he lost 657 games, but he won 646. So, I mean... No real reason saving DM Bobcat right about here. Priority kills him. And he still has that... uh. Swamp it running around. Maybe he doesn't know his speed tears whatsoever and he's going to double out. Uh, but he does. Stays in. Uh, dragon pulses. Fine by me. Really doesn't matter at all because I have uh, I have Teo Sharp. And uh, probably going to stay in, not going to lie. I want to know uh, how many battles have I won. But I'm able to get the, uh, the plus one, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I've won 24 games, and I've lost 10, but uh, I did play a couple, uh, with a, a couple different teams, so this team's probably around like 20 wins, 4 losses, I want to say. So he decides to switch and goes out into the Malamar. I guess that's cool. Gonna go for another Sucker Punch, because uh, I'm pretty sure Sucker Punch at the range of HP that he's at. That'll be enough to knock out the Malabar, because it is going to be a uh, neutral hit, because... Um, Nope. He's going to go for Topsy-Turvy. Okay. My stats. Oh, right. I, raised, I had plus two in attack. I forgot about that. But, uh, wow. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? That has to be a roll. That has to be a fucking roll. I am upset, man. But uh, his Noivern's almost dead. His Malamar's almost dead. And his uh, Scizor's almost dead. So definitely 10 out of 10 Conkelder is my win condition. I don't want to play around with threats whatsoever. Going for the Drain Punch. Just going to go straight away for the Mach Punch. Because Mach Punch will kill three out of his four remaining Pokemon. The last remaining Pokemon, of course, is going to be that, uh, that Swampert. Which uh, I will have to play around with. But regardless, that is complete and utter bullshit. I should still have my uh, plus one speed uh, Bisharp left. But, uh, nah, of course not. I didn't even get a flinch. I'm a little upset. Not gonna lie. Just a little upset. Decides to bring out Clamps. He wants to go for a bull punch. That's fine. I'll be able to live that easy peasy. No sweat, no problem. And I'll be able to retaliate back and knock it out with a mock punch. Because I am Joyce Banded. I'm Joyce Banded, as uh, able to live that, like I said, no sweat, no problem, I'm going to go for that uh, mock punch, now he just sacked off his only win condition, in my opinion, uh, Scizor was definitely going to win him the game, uh, so yeah, if you bring out the Neuvern right here, that'd be absolutely fantastic, but nope, he does make the correct play, I assume, goes out into the Swampert, um, shit, well it is Draco Meteor, he did Draco. Well, he doesn't have Draco as Dragon Pulse, so... I'm gonna Mach Punch, actually. You can go for a Mach Punch. 
I'm gonna stay in on the Swampert. Most likely his Mega in this scenario. As it is his Mega, but he doesn't even have Rain to abuse that with. As he's gonna go for an Earthquake, I'm able to live on a uh, little bit of HP. Oh, uh, what's its speed at now? It's at max 262. My speed's at 390, 329. As I'm able to get a crit, unfortunately for me, it is not enough. And uh, I think I lose, actually. I think I lose because um, I'm going to take damage from the Swampert, unfortunately. Can't be uh, avoided because this will probably outspeed me. So, uh, well, uh, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Sticky Web ended up costing me because if I didn't have Sticky Web in place right here, I actually outspeed. Okay, sweet. I won. Maybe. Maybe won. Uh, I would like to rephrase that. Maybe won. It all depends on how much a Dragon Pulse does for the Noivern. And if he is modest or timid, um, that'll definitely play a factor as well. If I'm able to hit this ice, if I'm able to uh, ice beam this thing, I win. But uh, he gets one hit off, and um, if it's a dragon pulse, I think I should be able to live that. Uh, hopefully, I am frail, but um, dragon pulse is really weak. Move only 85 base power, and he goes for a boom burst. I am able to live that. Gonna retaliate, knock it out with an ice beam. Uh, I do go down to the Life Orb Recoil, but I still win the match because this Pokemon fainted first. That's going to be the game on that high note. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. With that, I do move up into the 1400s. So uh, that's going to be the Showdown Live. Don't expect one again anytime soon because uh, unlike Showdown, Showdown's cancer. But uh, I figured I'll record one every now and then just to have on hand. And uh, I'll throw that up probably today, which is... Uh, That'll be my upload, so thanks for all watching, and I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye.